What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the 8 a.m. time slot on Mondays and Fridays. Today, we are finally beginning Biomutant. Um, as you might notice, hair short. Been uh, over a week since I recorded anything. Took a nice little time off. Getting back into the swing of things, though, Biomutant has finally arrived. Um, do have a couple different editions of that. A game I've been very excited for. I've ignored a lot of spoilers and, and anything else specific that you might have seen. I'm going to go in, hash out my own opinions, and have a good time. I did know it started with an opening cutscene, which is why we went uh, started recording a, a little bit uh, quickly. As per usual, the first episode is probably going to be a little bit of just like character creation, world building, stuff like that. Nothing too major. Um, the ensuing videos should be pretty long. I'm probably going to shoot for like an hour for the first couple. Because um, I really do want to delve into this game. But First one here, probably going to be character creation mostly. Careful, little buddy. All right. So far, so good. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? A plague is ruining the land, but the tree of life still stands. Question is, for how long? End is coming to the new world. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. Welcome to Biomutant. Thank you. We are going to a uh, new game. I did just make sure that the game loaded my DLC properly, we'll say. I do have the uh, mercenary pack. Wanted to make sure that was in there and all. And that things booted properly and all that. All right. Encode your DNA. A little strange looking there. All right. So we get to choose our character. <clears throat> Primal is a nimble, uh, a, a, is a nimble developed anthropomorphic breed, since it sounds weird. Uh, hybrid with the gene mutation, making them nimble and dexterous at the cost of lesser developed intellect. The Dumden is the least developed anthropomorphic breed, a uh, off-breed high... <sighs> Sorry, brain broke. Uh, a hybrid offshoot uh, that compensate for the lack of mental prowess or physical strength. Rex is an extraordinarily uh, developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid outcast with even a DNA string, uh, with an even DNA string, making it after physical and mental challenges. Hyla is the regenerative, regenerative uh, developed anthropomorphic breed, a hybrid in gene mutation, making it tough and resilient. The fit breed is renowned for its highly evolved mind. Its genius is directly interlinked with the power of key, which amplifies psionic output. And the Murgle is a definition of the idealized breed. Its evolutionary lineage has gone in a direction where form and appearance has dominated over function. Um, I think I kind of like the Rex one. Uh, define your character's attributes. Define your genetic structure. Maybe a little bit of like that. I kind of like that. Strength goes up into like down just a hair. A Looks pretty good. Um, let's resist heat and radioactivity. That Change looks good. First style. first style, huh? Oh, oh. I didn't really play around with this too much. I'm liking that. It's 
weird. It seems like almost grid based. Um, I mean, we can just roll with this. This is fine. Pick your main color. My main color. Okay. Let's go vibrant so we can see exactly what we're changing. Oh, a lot on the face here. I don't really want purple. Maybe a light brown. Maybe we'll go white. Oh, dude, you can get into some funky stuff here. But I don't think we want anything too crazy. Like, I don't think we're really in for stuff like this. I think we just want a white. Pick a class. Mercy. All right. So let's pick a class. So let's start down here. Deadeye. Deadeye is a tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside laws and Command. society values. Commando. The commando is trained as an operative in elite special operations forces. Commandos are used to working in small teams. Psy freaks are experimenting with psionic powers and mutations. They're usually outcasts on the fringe of society. Saboteur. The saboteur is a cunning, skilled explorer trained to operate covertly in suburbs and wilderness. Sentinel. And the sentinel dedicates themselves to protect a house. Their dedication is for the organization as a whole, including the supreme belief in their dogma. Um, I kind of like Sabatia, and I kind of like Deadeye, but now we have the Mercenary, which is the pre-order class. Mercenary is tra trained swordsman who has mastered the art of the blade. I think I will probably play Mercenary. Mercenary. Yeah. We have two different one-handed melees to Deadeye. dual wield them. That's so Mercenary. sick. Let's go Merc. Mercenary chosen. For sure. He looks cool with the hat. So let's do it. Player movement, player camera. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already Fair. at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice or simply stop living. All right. Fair enough. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Strength and power or freedom and loyalty? I'm I'm all about freedom and Let loyalty, me introduce dude. Myself. I'm the light and bright side of you, or your inner voice to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Okay, voice acting on that's pretty bad. Seems more like you're being lightheaded if you ask me, but you'll come around eventually. Better on the dark guy. But what comes around goes all the way back around. So it's better to stick to your instincts. You can't fight what's in your nature. In your nature? And here I was hoping we'd be all about natural selection, survival of the strongest, and so forth. Now, if that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. Very strange conversation. Guess left can be right sometimes. Right is always right. That's pretty funny. I guess we'll go this way and see what happens. That sounds fun. This must be like combat Stories tutorial. Death from the body is left behind. I, I assume at least. We're at the mercy of nature. No. The one that preys on others. He's dead. Mike off. Whoa! Why? Why are we mic off him? I still have a gun. Dude, the dual wield sick. Yo, that was. Do dope. you remember the beast that shattered your family, or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. What? Um, there's a larger beast afoot? Dodged, idiot. Got 
Got him. Oh, dude, it, the combat feels interesting. I'll, I'll parry you. Correct. Oh, never mind, I got hit. We broke his, his fucking blade, dude. His club. You better make a run for it. This is not the time nor place to end this story. Okay, this is where we were earlier. Got it. My headset's panicking a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear the crackling. I apologize if you can. Best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. What a genius. The predator isn't the only threat. The wild Ew, what the fuck is that? When the end of days began. What is that? Of life started to die. Move towards an enemy to target them with your melee attacks. Aim the right camera toward an enemy to target them with ranged. To reload, press R1. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing specials. When you're out of key, you'll be unable to perform those actions. Your key regenerates in and out of combat. Wonderful. That's going to leave a mark. Okay, this feels really interesting. A lot of like Batman Arkham like bouncing combat, interesting. Not a whole ton of aim assist going on. Get him. Okay, fair enough. A little awkward. Yeah, sorry, you might hear the, the sound glitching out a little bit. It's uh, it's just my headset being funky, probably because my leg's in the way. We've unlocked some kind of upgrade, electro module. Weapon add-on? Yo, what? You found a weapon special effect add-on. Attach it to your ranged weapon to give it extra damage. As long as the ammo lasts. Some enemies have resistances and weaknesses to different special types, so use them wisely. Let's equip it. To attach the special effect... Uh, to, to attach the special effect add-on, select it through the consumable menu. Got it. So, oh wow, weird. In this selection, you can change equipments and weapons. The circle icon represents the part of the weapon that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. Your favorites can be saved. Interesting. Do I have like a hand? Oh, I do have a hand. Um, you can sort gear according to stats. You can scrap highlighted piece of gear by craft by pressing the button. Okay. Like pauldrons then. Outfits you can create and save gear setups. Oh, yeah, he's weird looking naked. Yeah, he's like kind of yellowy orange. Interesting. Not what I wanted, clearly. I see. Okay. Interesting. Um... I can't do anything with the gun, I don't think. My automaton? Okay, I see, so it helps out. Okay. 
Neat. I don't think there's anything I can do with my gun there. Oops, sorry. Uh, you found a medic supply. Bags like this contain items that can help heal you. Wonderful. Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat, so you have to use consumables or find another way to heal. Okay. Obviously, we'll take that. By holding the quick select and selecting it. Got it. Got it. I'm sorry, it's called the what now? The Pew Pew Bosk. Boss Braca? I have no idea. Don't slip. Okay, we can climb as well. Nothing in here? Appears not. Interesting. Kinda cool. The oil sludge is everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Uh, remember to parry enemies when you can. When they have lightning bolts above their head. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Get parried, idiot. I'm getting dunkstered here. Okay, let's try and heal, maybe. Got it. Okay, I'm understanding now. I can't roll very well. Okay, it looks like they were electric weak, so I guess we're good. But I got actually slapped around there. Fallen enemies come out to be looted and find healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and press the triangle button. Remember to use your healing items when wounded. Wonderful. We got uh, energy regen. Okay. More energy regen. And I think we're uh, I think we're moving along here. All right. Yep, my B. You should be able to use that. Get out of there. Dude, it's the merc the merc seems cool. Won't lie. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, big health regen. Got it. 275 and energy stam. Okay, cool. I'm slowly picking up what you're putting down here. Anything else over here? No? Guess not. Keep going, I suppose. Ambush, maybe? No? Shielder. Some enemies carry large shields. You need to break the shield with melee attacks before you can deal damage. Interesting. Very finicky to shoot. Get in there. I'm dunked. We got him though. We did get an upgrade point. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. You also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung foo and perks menu 
to go to that press the start button. I mean, obviously we'll take the health regen. Probably all stuff I'll look at next time. We are full health because of the level up, I have to assume. Um, let's go ahead and look at our level ups here. When you level up, you can increase an attribute by 10. Pick the strength you want to increase from the list or the stat. Oh, I see. I think we want to go uh, strength. Watch you flex. Just for me personally. Upgrade points when leveling. You'll earn upgrade points when leveling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Um, let's go close combat. Um, One-handed slash. Oh! Oh, so they're sequences. Very cool. Okay. Mic off. Sorry, yeah, the sound, it, it's cutting out very awkwardly with my, uh, my PC. I do apologize for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock this. You cannot perform your special attack when you have the correct weapon type equipped. Once you have more upgrade ports, remember to spend them. I think we're good, right? Okay. All good. So it was. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's go look at it again one more time. Oh, because I'm dual wielding. Oh, no. Yeah? Oh, because I'm dual wielding. It doesn't count. Oh, I'm stupid. So we actually wanted to get that. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, that's fine. We know for the future, right? Let's go ahead and go through one more door. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. That's a crowbar. Old world claw bar. I guess we'll take it. I don't know if it does us any good, but... Dude, I love running on two feet. Or four feet. That pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Okay. Oh, it's like a utensil. Okay. Does it break after use? Whoa. He just yeeted down, dude. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Good, good double jump. The Morks produce biomatter in their multi -organs. Ah, I see where it's coming into play. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed. Including you. Gotcha. Might not need that now, but you will later. Okay, so we've punished the parry. Yo, what the fuck? Alright, go ahead and try and attack me. Okay, that's pretty sick. I, I'm starting to understand. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points that unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers in various places in the world. You can use your bio blobs to unlock special powers at any time by accessing the mutations part of the menu. All right. Anything special up there? No, would be the answer. Um, so now we've got mutations. Mutations menu. Go to the mutations tab to unlock psi powers, biogenics, and upgrade resistances. Uh, biogenics are unlocked using bio points gained from defeating bio creeps or finding containers. 
So moth mouth. To use moth mouth, press the input you have bound to the ability while facing an enemy. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. We can also unlock psi powers. Oh. Okay, so these are from dialogue choices. Very interesting. And uh, upgrade resistances gives me 10. I can, I can upgrade each one 10%. All right, we'll save that for now. We'll unlock. Let's go Vile Bile. Actually, you know what? Let's go Moth Mouth. You know, why not? To use Moth Mouth, press the input you have bound to the ability while facing an enemy. Okay, to use the ability, press and hold the bound button. Gotcha. See, a little bit of that, a little bit of... Very interesting. Okay, cool. And that does use some of our power. Our, our stamina resource. Toxanol built vessels called arcs to arcs. save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single arc they left behind that we know other arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. Very good. Dear God, you found a puzzle. These are scattered all over the world. Some open new paths, while other will feature different rewards. To switch the node, move L. Press the node L1, R1. To rotate, I got it, I got it, I got it, yeah, yeah. Number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves that you have. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I feel like this is a good spot to save our game. Wonderful. All right. Uh, that's going to do it for the first episode of Biomutant. So far, it seems kind of cool. I know it's like not the most well-reviewed game of all time, but I'm having a, I'm having a good old time. Uh, that is going to do it for this episode. I do hope that you all enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.